In this recording, whenever I write ln of x, I will mean the logarithm to base e of x. Some people say that the n in ln stands for natural log. Others say that it refers to the Scottish mathematician Napier, and they call it a Napierian logarithm. Napier was heavily involved in the early days of calculation using logs. When you first learn to differentiate, you quickly learn how to differentiate the natural log. We have d by dx of ln of x is 1 over x. Once we start integrating or anti-differentiating, it's then natural enough to deduce that the integral of 1 over x dx must be ln of x, possibly plus a constant. That seems perfectly reasonable until someone points out that, in principle, x might be negative. ln of a negative number is not well defined. A log can only be taken of a positive number. So usually your teacher will tell you how to rectify this situation, and that is that instead you replace this formula here with ln, but you take the absolute value of x. Remember that the absolute value of x is equal to x if x is positive or zero, but it's equal to negative x if x itself is negative. Therefore, if you put a negative x into that log, taking the absolute value will remove the sign and make it a positive thing again, so that the log is a reasonable function to take of such an argument. OK, well you may well believe that, but how do we know that that was the right thing to do? It seems to have just been conjured up out of mid-air. Well, this is how it works. 1. Let's look at the integral 1 over x dx if x is positive. In that case, we're entitled to write down that the answer is just log of x plus c, and there is no problem with the log. So far, so good. Now, what about if x is negative? I'm not allowing the case x equals 0 because we're not allowed to divide by 0. So x equals 0 is not a reasonable point to be involved in this integral. However, x could be negative. How do we prove that we need the absolute value? Well, here's the secret. We make a change of variable. I'll call the new variable u. I'm going to choose u equal to negative x. So x negative implies that u is positive. Then 1 over x becomes negative 1 over u and dx becomes negative du. So our integral 1 over x dx becomes the integral negative 1 over u times negative du. And notice now we have two negative signs. So that's the integral of 1 over u du. But here u is positive. So the answer to the integral is just ln of u plus c. But now we remember that u was negative x, so that's ln of negative x plus c. Now you may feel alarmed at having ln of negative x, but remember that x itself in this situation was negative. And so here, negative x is positive, and the log of negative x is allowed. So, what result have we now achieved? Putting everything together, if x is positive, then integral 1 over x dx is just log x plus c. And if x is negative, integral 1 over x dx has come out to be ln of negative x plus c. What have we got there on the right-hand side when we combine those two results? They can be summed up in a single expression by saying integral 1 over x dx, regardless of sign, 
is just the log of the absolute value of x plus c because remember if x is positive the absolute value is just x and if x is negative the absolute value is negative x so that's exactly what we've got in those two formulae bracketed together above this formula here sums up both at once okay so that justified why we should always have the absolute value of x when we integrate with a log it remains just to say that sometimes you can ignore the problem you can ignore the problem when the thing in the log is obviously positive an example is when we do the integral 2x over 1 plus x squared dx some people would do that by substituting u equals 1 plus x squared alternatively you recognize that it has the form that it's the integral of f prime of x over f of x dx in other words there's the derivative of the bottom sitting on the top 2x is the derivative of 1 plus x squared in that case the answer is the log of the absolute value of f of x plus c so in our case here we've got log of the absolute value of 1 plus x squared plus c however with 1 plus x squared there's no question about the sign it's never negative 1 plus x squared is a positive quantity in fact it's greater than or equal to 1 so that means we can here remove the absolute value and just write log of 1 plus x squared plus c without having to worry that concludes my presentation.